after the idea stage, you're probably going to need other people that are going to come and help you build this thing, right? Because as a founder, you can only do so much. And there's different ways that you can leverage. You can leverage with money, which is capital. You can leverage with um, uh, people, which is scale. So if you bring people on, they can help you build your business. So with people, though, we learned a few lessons in the last three years um, since we were first getting started. So the first lesson that we learned is that people disappoint. Mm -hmm. and, and when I, when I this is Louis Carr, but you know, I'm from Ohio and I came up to Michigan and this was back in, I think I started 2001, and I was getting all this flack from Ohio State and Michigan. And you know, the first, we were expecting like a bunch of big wins. You know, I'm not saying anything about um, Louis Carr as a person, but we lost six out of the seven games to Ohio State, and I was disappointed with that. And the same thing is true in your, in your company. You're going to get all these disappointing things that are gonna to happen to you, right? So for example, your business partners are inevitably probably gonna quit. Well, I, I didn't quit. I'm still here. What's that? I'm still here. <laughs> okay, and your employees are gonna quit. And, um, and in the very beginning stages, there's gonna be a lot of negative pressure around what you're doing from family, from friends, from whoever. Because you're going out and you're doing something that's really risky. You're going and you're building a company. And it's a lot less safe than going and getting a job or you know, um, finishing your education or whatever it is that you're, you could, else you could be doing. And you're also going to get a lot of negative pressure from your customers. Because you're going to have a beta product that's not going to be very good. People aren't going to want to use it. And they're going to be telling you, this isn't what I want. And your job is to look past all of that and say, I'm not going to let my first 10 reasons that I could stop doing this get in the way, and I'm going to go past those 10 reasons. Because the truth of the matter is, until you get past those first 10 reasons to quit, you actually don't even know if this is something that is going to work. So, um, so don't stop at the 10 yard line. Try to get it, try to get it to you know, the 50 or 60 yard line to see if this is going to make sense. Yep. Um, we'll have a mountain analogy later in the presentation. That was the football. So, um, okay, <laughs> yeah. people first. So people disappoint, but, but ultimately you're working with people for people. And, you know, our team is the number one asset we have at our company. Um, we, have, we, we love our product and we, and we love our customers, but, you know, when you're building a company, you spend all day with these people. Um, they sleep at your office. Um, you share meals with them. You share time with them. And... You know, you want to make sure that you care as much about the people you work with as you do about your idea and your vision. Because your idea and vision is empty without the people that build it. You know, like Verdi was saying, as a founder, you can't, you can't possibly build it on your own. You can't start a movement with one person. So we reward our employees. We, 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 we try and, actually, no, employees are the wrong word. We don't <laughs> consider them employees. They're, they're really friends first and then, and then employees second. And, and we create that sort of close connection between everyone that we work with. Yeah, and I think on that too, it's like, um, just a, one thing too, I think we, we learned along the way is, is the classic, like you have to give in order to receive, but usually like if you give something up, you'll get it back 10 times in return. So if you give up cash or if you give up equity or if you give up your time, it'll always come back to you. And um, you know, you need to be, uh, at least what we learned is that being judicious about those decisions is the tactical on the ground battlefield, you know, day to day that you need to deal with. But in reality, um, in reality, people need to be rewarded. And usually a good rule of thumb is like, if I was in this person's shoes, what would I want? And that's, that seems to work pretty well.